Here's an example of a typical chimney chase on the side of a house. Um, not a lot of masonry chimneys built anymore, so this is a very common practice. There is a, a problem with this type of installation as far as brick veneer is concerned sometimes that I'd like to make you aware of. In this particular picture, you'll notice the little cricket, the small roof behind the chimney. It's properly designed in that there's a, a brick pocket so that the masonry can actually turn the corner and go around behind the chimney. That's not normally the case, or many times I should say, that's not the case. What I see in construction on a regular basis is that cricket coming all the way over and coming in contact with the backside of that chimney chase. Then the brick are just laid on top of that small roof, which is not enough support to carry the weight of masonry. This is what happens typically if you don't have enough support on the backside of a chimney. It begins to list toward the home. Has no choice. It's a twofold problem in that as it leans toward the house, somewhere around gutter height or soffit height, a crack develops as the chimney leans over against the roof. On the exterior side of the chimney, the crack now allows water to just pour into the chimney chase. So the befuddled homeowner is looking around trying to figure out where's the water getting in. Let me replace the flashing around it. Let me see if it's raining down the cap or whatever. And what it is, the chimney has actually began to lean toward the home, opening up the crack as you see it here. And what I'm going to get into now for a moment might be meddling because I'm going to talk about you carpenters for a bit. But it has to be prepared properly as far as the carpenter work is concerned in order for it to carry the load when the mason shows up. This is what you commonly see on a chimney chase as far as framing is concerned. In order for this chimney chase to come up the side of the house, you see how two rafters there have been cut off. Two single rafters on each side of the opening are now accepting what is a double header on the back side. That's normally what you see, but it does not satisfy the code in any way. It won't carry the weight of masonry. What it should be is tripled up rafters up both sides of the chimney chase and the header in the back of the chimney as you see depicted here. This will carry the load of the masonry as the chimney chase is bricked. Masonry weighs 40 pounds per square foot. What would you say that chimney weighs? Would you park your BMW in that garage? Obviously somebody wanted a, a fireplace in the bonus room and that's great. But you have to wonder when you drive down the street and take a photograph like this, is there proper support for that chimney? Just to give you an idea of about how much it weighs, we did some calculations and it weighs about what a Crown Victoria and a half would weigh. Obviously a lot of weight. If you don't take into consideration carrying that load, this is what could happen to you. At one point there was a chimney on the top of this house and a chimney chase. You see where it is now. Thankfully, the homeowner and his wife and kids weren't uh, having a meal on the deck at that point. The mason said, well, I put a couple of steel angle irons down both sides of the chase. The problem was it wasn't properly attached to the chimney chase and didn't do its job. The code mentions two different ways that you can carry the load of brickwork in a gable setting or around a chimney for that matter. This is directly from the code the IRC, and uh, either the triple drafters that you see on the left side there or the lentil carrying the load would do the job. One thing you might keep in mind to make sure you have proper drawing, to make sure you get the smoke out of the house. The chimney should be at least two foot above, ten foot over. Now what that means is at any point that you can make a level line from the roof over to your chimney that's at least ten foot long, then the chimney should be at least two foot higher than that point. But the code also mentions that at the point where the chimney comes through the roof, whether it be on the side of the house as you see here, or up at the ridge, the chimney must be at least three foot tall. What that does is give you a buffer or a little extra room in case you have a chimney fire. Now that fire would be at least three foot above the shingles, which would obviously be a fire hazard. So uh, just keep those things in mind as far as carrying the weight of brickwork on a chimney chase.